welcome back to One Crafty Ginger. I'm Mercedes. If you enjoy quick and easy craft and DIY projects, clearance finds, haul videos, and some rescue dogs, then you're in the right place. So today I have a fun video for you guys. I took a poll. You guys said you wanted to see it. My yard sale haul. So I went on Saturday and went and hit up a whole bunch of yard sales with a good friend of mine and scored some awesome goodies. So I wanted to show you. So let's go ahead and jump right into some of my favorite finds. I got this super cool brown bowl because you know your girl loves vintage. So these, this pattern people call like a beehive bowl because it looks kind of like a beehive. So I found that super fun. Um, at the same place that I found that cool bowl, I also got, oh no, they're losing, they're falling out y'all. This super fun spice rack like look at that you guys and it has 12 jars I just thought that was so cool because you know you love I love vintage so I got that and then I'm trying to like work my way through I also got this fun wooden box that you could use like to put stuff in you can use it to put stuff on. You can sit in on your counter and put stuff in there, put stuff in there. It's super cool. You can always use a wooden box. So it's just really pretty. So I got that. Guys, so much stuff. Let's see, what else? Moving along. I got this really pretty, like white. I don't know if it's milk glass. It's really heavy, so I don't think it's milk glass. But it's just this gorgeous, tray stand thing it's just super pretty i love the pattern on it so i got that and then continue on with pretty things um i got this lennox set it has like two little dishes on there with the gold like how pretty like you guys can see like the detailing on there so there's these two and then this little vase goes with it too there you go so you have like the whole little set so super pretty very dainty little lennox set and then you guys cottage core comment down below are you digging that the fact that cottage core is coming back because like it's <laughs> reminds me of my mom's kitchen and like when i was like a teenager but I caught this cool set of cottage core kind of hen bowls. They're enamelware bowls. You get like three. I just thought they'd be fun, like little planters. You could put stuff in them, dropping them on the floor. So yeah, so there was three of those, and they're kind of hefty. Like when you put them all together, they're they're pretty weighty. So I got these. And then I also found these, which are so pretty with the pink roses. Like, look at those. And they're on both sides. So you can do planters. You could put something underneath to like stack them. They're just so pretty. I just love them. And then also like pretty and floral and stuff was this super cute, like little, little set. Um, it has, gosh, it's so cute, like, has, like, this little itty-bitty, like, sugar dish with a little lid on it, and then it has, like, the little, like, pitcher and watering bowl that I just dropped on the ground. Oh, there we go. So I just thought it was so cute. This is cute little set. And then it has, um, has like a little cup. And then it has what I'm assuming is like a little napkin holder. <laughs> it was just cute and it was so tiny. Like, it's just tiny, you guys. It's so cute. So don't ask me what I'm going to do with it. I, I don't know. It's just cute. So I got that, which was so, so adorable. And then I got also this super cool ice cream cookbook. 
from the 70s. Like, how cool is that? And it also has inside, it has like recipes and pictures. And I just thought that was so cool because you know, your girl loves vintage. So don't be surprised that the majority of this haul is vintage stuff. So, sorry. But I did get a couple things that weren't vintage, but the majority was vintage. So I got the ice cream cookbook. I got, I think this is a letter opener. I just love the detailing on it. But you could definitely, it'll be used as a weapon. <laughs> but it's so pretty. And then this tray, which I thought you could put like in the middle of like your dining room table and like put stuff in it. And then like it has like the handle there. So this is a pretty hefty tray. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then we'll move along to here. I got a couple Crocs because they're fun to collect. So we got green, we got blue. The green would be really pretty at Christmas time. Time. I haven't had any caffeine today, guys. I'm sorry. Christmas time with a tree inside. So we got a blue one and a green one. And then I also got this one that says Wisconsin Homestead. So I'm pretty sure that was a cheese crock. So I got that. I love the color and the blue because blue is my favorite color. And then I got some cool rusty crusty stuff. I got this really cool paintbrush. Like look at how chunky that is. So people take these and like put them in like Crocs on display. So it was super cool. It's got the paint on the handle. I just loved it. It's like a thick, she's thick y'all. So I got that. And then I got this cool box of Nico germicidal soap. I like the advertising on it and it's still, it still has the soap in it y'all. <laughs> How cool is that? So I grabbed that and then I also grabbed this super cool rusty crusty bell you guys like look at that look at like the wear and the worn leather and the rusted out bell it doesn't have its clapper in there but so cool like I just I don't know I just think of the story so I'm wondering if it was like a cowbell or something because just super cool and then I got this give us this day our daily bread little tray and look you can even see the guy he's in there harvesting the wheat to make the bread and it's just a nice little tray you could put like trinkets and stuff in there your watch your keys that kind of stuff and then i got this cool like little metal tray with like the little carrier with like the wooden handle and like the little milk jars milk, milk jars like they're like little ones so super cute you could put like flowers in these you can put flags for like the fourth of july i just thought that was super cool so i grabbed those and then let's move along. Oh, I also got a set of four really pretty like little cups. Like look at the detail with the rooster and the colors. I just thought they were pretty. So it's like a set of four little teacups that are just pretty. And then I got this super, this thing is thick. It is a Pioneer Woman pie pan. And I know, I know, I know, it's not Christmas. I know it's not Christmas, but when you find stuff at yard sales, you gotta scoop it up. So I just thought that was so pretty. And then also with Christmas, I got these, which are like for serving like on your charcuterie board or whatever. Like these cute little candy cane, little forks, spoons, and knives. It was a set of four. Like how cute. Take a trip down candy cane lane with me. So I got those. Cause like I said, you gotta get stuff at the yard sales when you see it. Even though Christmas isn't for a while. You just gotta scoop it. Alright, so moving along, I also grabbed this really cool wooden frame because I thought I could paint it like white and then distress it. 
so you see like some of the coloring come out but it's just a cool frame <laughs> that I thought you know you could hang on the wall and maybe even hang things inside of it I just thought that was super cool and then this also because apparently I just need more stuff on the walls is like an old shutter kind of thing I I'm not too big on the handles. I might keep this handle down here, but I'm definitely taking these two off. But my friend was saying, like, you could put cards in there. So I could display some cards in there. But it's blue. It's like that tealy turquoise blue. Like, this is my favorite color. It's this dress. It's chippy. And it does have handles on the back, so I can hang it up. So super cool with that. And, oh, we'll go, we'll finish off the home decor. This lady was selling, and it was her grandmother's. And she's like, make me an offer. And I'm like, how do I make you an offer on something that was your grandma's? Like, like, do you guys do that? You ever go yard selling? And somebody's like, oh, that was my mom's. That was my grandma's. And you're just like, oh, no, what do I offer for this? <laughs> but these gorgeous linens, like, look at how pretty. You guys can see. Pretty tablecloth, like, table runner. Like, look at that just so dainty and so pretty so I got that and then you can always use just a cute little lace little doily I may or may not have a lace problem I may or may not have a drawer full of lace downstairs Shh, we're not gonna talk about it right now we're just we're not we're not gonna talk about it it's fine and then do you guys remember like back in the day having like the decorative pillowcases like, look at this, you guys. Like, they just don't make pillowcases like this anymore. Like, look at how pretty that is. So we got this one. And then that this was more like a creamy color. And then this one is just white. And I know it's a pillowcase, but I thought I could probably use it as a table runner. Right? So pretty. And then that's the end of all the home decor. So let's go into some like clothing and accessories. I got this super cool, you guys know I love purses, patent leather, 1950s patent leather purse. It opens up, it's so freaking cool. Like, look at the inside. How cool is that? So this is gonna go on my purse wall. And if you wanna know, above my bed, I have these really pretty hooks and I have all my favorite handbags and decorative handbags hanging on the wall because I want to see them. I don't want my pretty purses in a closet. So she's going up on the wall cause she's so pretty. Like, look at that, so pretty. And then another bag that I got which I thought would be a really cool like weekender bag because I go scrapbooking and sometimes we stay the night at the hotel was this super cool bag. Like, look at that, you guys, look at the handle. It feels like wool. I just, I have a thing for plaid. I'm mad about plaid. I know Marina is too. And so I just thought that was a cool bag that I could use for like traveling and going out and about. And then the last item, yeah, the last item is this super cool, like, jacket thing. Like, I know, I just thought it was cool. Like, it's got the sleeves, it's got the jacket, like, it's, like, bunched up there. It's just, like, a super cool, I thought it'd be nice, like, during the fall, you know, with some jeans and a shirt. Or if I need just like a light jacket, like during the summer, because I'm in Northern Utah, if you don't know, and it does get chilly during the summer, like in the evenings and the mornings. But I thought this is just a really cool, like, I don't know, I just thought it was a cool, like jacket thing. So I grabbed it. And that, my friends, is my yard sale haul. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite item that I picked up at the yard sales. Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Also, let me know, do you guys go yard selling, garage selling, estate selling? Do you guys do that? If you do, let me know. Comment down below if you, what your favorite find was. Let me know your absolute favorite score if you've ever gone yard selling or garage selling or estate selling. And let me know, because I would love to know what you guys have found. 
And yeah, so anyway, I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate you spending some time with me today. I hope you have a marvelous day. I'll see you guys later. And until next time, goodbye.